Previously, we have defined the notion of a Riemannian metric. Now we want to give a description of it in terms of coordinate, because that's how it will often be given to you in practice. Now, recall a Riemannian metric is just a section of the two tensor bundle. It associates to every point P a two tensor, i.e. a bilinear map on the tangent space of, at P. In this case, it has to be an inner product on the tangent space, so that we can have notions of length and angles. So to give coordinate descriptions for G, let's review coordinate description of two tensors. Recall that if we have a coordinate neighborhood, so let's say we have some coordin local coordinate x1, xn at P, then these dxip form a basis of the cotangent space at P, and the tensor product form a basis then for the two tensor of the tangent space. Thus, we can write G as a linear combination of this. Now, this whole as P ranges over this whole blue neighborhood, so we'll drop the P and say this holds on blue. In other words, these are local coordinates of G on this blue. So this is the coordinate description of G that we desired. Now let's simplify it a little bit. First, we just drop the summation to use Einstein's notation. Okay, but that's not really true uh, simplification. Now let's review, uh, do you remember how we can find these coordinates? What we should do is that we will apply both sides to the dual elements of these. What we mean is that, for example, if we want to find the coordinate gij, the ones in front of dxi tensor dxj, then we would apply both sides to this pairs of vectors, right? So now everything on the right hand side uh, get killed except for the term with dxi tensor dxj. The left hand side is just g of this, so we see that this coefficient must be equal to this. But now observe that then, that means that gij must be equal to gji. Because at every point p, g is an inner product, so it's a symmetric bilinear form. So if we switch these, we get the same value. That means the coefficient in front of dxj tensor dxi is also equal to the, this coefficient gij. Thus, there are repetitions in this expression. So now we want to write it in the way that each of the gij just appear once. So we want to group these expressions together. We'll do so by defining the following expression, dxi times dxj. Now we write g as follows. This is how g is often given in practice. Now, note that this expression is symmetric, so we can collect terms like these and shorten them to just 2 times this. Next, to check if we really understand this, we're gonna compute the coordinates of the Riemannian metric for Euclidean space. 